Rapport and Grandmaster Hikaru Nakamura. The game is ended in a draw. With this result, uh, Nakamura qualifies to, to the final. Uh, Richard, uh, you played the opening quite fast. I was sensing that maybe you played this position before recently. Is this possible? Yeah, I've had a game here. Okay, not so recently, like three, four years ago, in, uh, here in Germany, actually, in some Bundesliga. Okay, of course, my opponent was much uh, lower rated, much weaker player than Hikaru, so he went something. Um, Something uh, dubious after this E3 and E3 stuff, yeah. And then I, he forced. I mean, he captured in D4 too early, which was bad, and might is just much better. But yeah, I was kind of happy about the opening outcome. But um, of course, uh, probably I should take on E5, like he could have said as well. Trade multiply times, but I felt like it's um, it's just too little simple, uh, simply for such a situation. So I tried to do something smarter than that, which uh, resulted in you know. Uh, yeah, I resulted in, of course, something stupider than that, so, okay. as, as usual. Uh, Hikaru, did you, in your preparation, have this uh, type of positions on the board? Was this something you were expecting today? No, I wasn't expecting it. Uh, I just very recently, vaguely, uh, looked at this idea with knight c6 and uh, d4. I mean, my opponent in the final, Levant, has played this quite a few times with black, so I was a little bit familiar, but, but not super familiar. Um, but I mean, basically, the match situation, I think, led to what happened in the game. I think in a, in a different situation, uh, Richard finds something that's a little bit more concrete, but it was very strange because he essentially allowed me to trade the light square bishop instead of exchanging the dark square bishop. And this bishop, basically, the bishop on g2 is never active with this knight on e4, pawn on d5. And if he gets the dark square bishop, he can always go b3, bishop b2, and c4 and open a diagonal. So, I mean, somehow, I mean, of course, in, after the game, it's very easy to see why, why uh, he shouldn't have allowed this. But, I mean, match situation was, of course, very unpleasant. And so he tried to create something more rather than just play with the two bishops, so, which, of course, is very understandable. And, I mean, at, at the end, I mean, I think maybe I could have tried for more if I really wanted to. But, I mean, there's, there's no need to waste time. That was my, my question. Um, obviously, with the draw, you go straight to the final, which is the main, main objective. But it seemed to me that the, the, the end position, you, there was still a lot to fight for. And the, you even had the initiative. Would that be a correct assessment? Yeah, but I mean, wh wh why, why do I want to waste time? I mean, who, who cares about rating points? I mean, the, the winning the match is all that matters, so. Yeah, I mean, I could have played on. I mean, Richard would have tried to defend for a long time, and I mean, maybe at some moment I have something better, but, okay, I don't, I don't want to waste, I don't want to waste, waste time. Okay. Um, Richard, um, how do you evaluate your, um, your tournament globally, this first leg, and what are you going to work on for the second tournament in the, in the Grand Prix? What are you going to try to improve? Yeah, I, I think I played very poorly overall here. I mean, I'm very, I was very fortunate to, you know, qualify from the, from the group stage. Um, yeah, also I just came here from playing Vacanze, which is like extremely long event. And also here I played every day, uh, very long games. So obviously I kind of ran out of stamina as, as well at some point. Um, yeah, I will just take some rest and okay, I will play the next one um, quite soon actually in Belgrade. But yeah, it's kind of home, uh, home turf for me since I lived there for, for a while. So it will be, um, It'll be certainly nice, and um, yeah, I will be, you know, uh, surrounded by loved ones and friends, and hopefully, I will. Uh, this will boost me. Yeah. Okay. And here, a final question for you: uh, What does it mean for you to be in the final after essentially being inactive for the last two years in classical chess? I mean, it's it's nice, I guess. Uh, probably not expected, but I mean, I've, I felt that I've played well. I mean, I don't think I've done anything super special, but when you're solid and you ha you take advantage of the few options that you have, I mean, then, then good things seem to happen. But I mean, to be fair, yesterday's game also, I mean, there were moments that could have gone gone both ways. Um, so I mean, I I tried to play for play for more, and it, it worked out. But I mean, it very easily could have been the other way too. So it's it's nice, but not really that big of a deal. Would you say that your game with Sipenko was the most difficult one uh, up to now? Yeah, I mean, I just uh, played a bad opening, um, and I got in trouble, but I, I mean, I think, again, the, the problem with chess is that it always hinges on a few moments. I mean, if things go your way, it's great. If they don't go your, go your way, it's, it's terrible. I mean, even Richard, he, he could have been knocked out in, uh, in just the qualifiers, but I mean, a little bit of luck. His opponents didn't convert some winning positions. He won the critical game, makes it through. I mean, I mean that's why chess is, is what it is. I mean, sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's also, I mean, the worst thing in the world. So last question, does the fact that playing against one of your Olympia teammates in the final give you an extra boost of energy to try and recover one of the four main spots in the Olympic team? As you did say that if you're fifth, you might not be going. Uh, that's not even on my mind. The Olympiad is so far away, I mean, I, I'm not even expecting to play, so we'll, we'll see. Okay, thank you. Yes, now if I can...